Hello and welcome to More Than Organized Monday. I am Miriam and today we are talking about opportunity costs. Um, many people have heard about opportunity costs when it comes to business and making business decisions, but there are opportunity costs involved in everything we plan to do. So it's really what you have to give up to do the thing you're doing. So right now, if you're watching me, you are not doing something else. Um, there's uh, that new tax ad. I think it's for, I don't even, I don't want to say which tax company it's for, but they're like, not taxes. You don't have to do your taxes. You're not doing taxes if you're doing something else. You um, give up time with your, to play with your kids when you do dishes or, you know, all kinds of little things like that. But in business, it can be. Uh, a challenge as well to know when to give up doing the things that aren't actually bringing in revenue and are just busy work. And so I wanted to give you a couple different ways of looking at it. Um, and they're going to apply both to business and to your personal life. And it that's what I love about the Streamlined Connection is how we get everything together, right? How we can leverage our time and thus lower opportunity costs when we look at things from this viewpoint. So let go of your darlings. I'm not talking your loved ones. I'm talking your actual ideas, um, the things you think you need to take care of. Like the more things you have, the more you have to dust, the more you have to take care of things. Uh, let go of the worry about other people's behavior. Um, let go of things that never quite worked, like you bought a product to solve a particular situation and it didn't quite work. You don't have to keep that thing. Let it go. Um, the idea that was better on paper or in theory or if only you had all these other things to do with it. Sometimes it's easier to let go of those things and focus on the things that are working. So regularly review what you're participating in, what activities, maybe it's a club, maybe it's a group, um, maybe it's a sport. There's all kinds of things that we do just because we're used to doing it a certain way. And when you look at it and evaluate it from a different perspective of, is this serving me now? Is this too hard? Is this um, something that I'm just spinning my wheels with busy work about, and it's not actually bringing any benefit to me, um, whether it's monetary or time or um, new business or new ideas or new energy to your life. If it doesn't do those things, maybe it's time for that thing to go. So the other way of looking at opportunity costs is the time factor, right? I mean, we talk a little bit about it, but sometimes it doesn't quite translate. People say, I don't spend that much time on it. It's not a big deal. Well, at what point does how much time you're spending on something become a big deal, right? So for instance, if you lose your keys and you spend five minutes a day looking for your keys, that's 35 minutes a week. That's 1,820 minutes a year, which is 30 hours. It's almost a vacation. That's a long weekend or two, right? What could you do with that time? What if you could take on one more client in that amount of time, would that make it worth giving up uh, looking for your keys all the time? I don't know. Another way to look at it is once you have all of your systems in place for running your business and for running your household, you will save up to two hours a day. Up to two hours a day. For some people, it's even more. But on average, it's two hours a day. That's 14 hours a week. That's like two work days or play days. What do you want to use it for? 728 um, hours a year. That's 30 days. 30 days. That's a month. You can get a whole month back every year by putting systems in place and looking at your workflows to eliminate opportunity costs when it comes to time and money. All right. Let me know what you think. Um, we're mixing things up just a little bit and I want to know, um, if this is landing good for you. Um, I will see you next week and don't forget to subscribe, follow, comment, turn on your notifications. If you're here on Facebook, um, you'll get reminders when I'm going live and tell all your friends to join us because it's more fun that way. And in the meantime, have a delightful day.